Hi everybody, this is Sherry with Up or Down, They're Beautiful, and I just wanted to show you another card that I made. This is a 6x6 six six, um, inch square card, and I used Recollections 110 pound card stock for the base. I used um, Stampin' Up, I used my Copics to collar tilde and if you want to know any of the colors that I used just leave a message in the comments and I will tell you anything you need or want to know and I used Stampin' Up chalks to ink her cheeks and then I used um, my new uh, doohickey die here for her to the window ledge for her to sit on this paper here is Kaiser Craft Chanteuse collection and it's an older collection and I've got a few more pages that I really like and then after that I'll be using those for like background pieces but I'm going to be very sad when it's all gone because I love that paper. Um, I used the doily lace medallion from Sizzix and you can just see pieces of it uh, right here and right up here it's the the um, scalloped part covered most of it up with flowers <laughs> and then um, which I used uh, Stampin' Up Certainly Celery for the cardstock for that the pink seam binding is from Karen Brake and that's Lady Dives Creation on Zibit and I'll try to remember to put a link below in the description box her kits are amazing guys I mean Pink is my favorite color, and she made me a kit with all different pink stuff in it, but there's different shades of pink, so I'm able to match, you know, some of the different colors in my projects with the seam binding that she sent, so it's been really wonderful having that, and I can't thank her enough for sending it to me. Um... The flowers are Wild Orchid Crafts, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And then the other ones are from I Am Roses. And then the little filler pieces that I put in are from my stash. I believe I got them at the dollar store. Uh, this metal corner here is from Butterbee Scraps. And, um, and then I stamped with stamping up wood grain, wood grain stamp on the window and the shutters and things with uh, Tim Holtz walnut stain and I think that's about it I popped her up on pop dots and she's just to look like she's sitting on the window and then I just um, made an arrangement of flowers around her I'll zoom you in a little closer so you can see the different parts of the card a little better and you know here's Tilda excuse me my camera there there's Tilda and she's sitting on the window ledge and you can see the wood grain pattern going up through and you can see the green here is the um, that lace um, doily die from medallion from Sizzix and um, and then you can see some of the filler here that I used. And I used um, Heidi Swap Blush Spray for the Pink Roses. And then this is the, this is really nice seam binding. And this is the seam binding that Karen gave me. And then over here again is a little arrangement. And down here in the corner is the flowers. And I wanted to just kind of make it look like it kind of went you know all the way around the card and then there's the corner from Butterbee scraps and that's my last small corner I'm gonna be so sad I'm gonna have to try to get some but I have a heck of a time figuring out which ones to get and every time I do I end up with the big ones again and I don't want the big ones I gotta figure this out how to know which ones are the small ones and um, I used a white jelly pen, jelly roll pen to put the dots in her eyes and used my um, fluorescent um, Copics for the little butterfly there on her pants and she's just got her little tennis shoes on and 
sitting there looking out the window watching stuff. So this was a really fun card to do. I haven't done... Um, I love putting flowers on my cards. I just really struggle with how to make the arrangements better and stuff like that so I'm working on it if I wish I could get there's a better way to see but you can see the the green here coming out and it goes all the way around this flat these flowers right here and this one and that one are actually sitting out onto the to the um, lace medallion and then I cut I had another one I cut and I cut the corner I cut it in like fourths and then I cut the corner piece off the pie like if it were a pie shape I cut the the bottom wedge of the pie off and put that back here so this would all go together and match and I love these little roses I gotta get some more of this I'm, I didn't realize how low I was getting on flowers man I am getting way low on flowers and uh, so I got to go and place in order. And I saw that uh, Candace Scarborough has, um, sells them in smaller batches because I can't find what I want. I want, you know, more bags of white trellis roses, which I absolutely fell in love with. But now they're, she, they don't sell just the solid white trellis roses you get them all in mixed colors and I like though just the plain white because then I can color them and most of my cards have a whiter cream it seems like in them so you know that really works for me but I don't know why they quit selling them like that but here it is I hope you guys like it if you like this card in this video give it a thumbs up or two if you could and uh, leave a comment below letting me know what you think Especially, you know, please be gentle. But, you know, I can take constructive criticism about how I did the flower arrangements. So if you, you know, could tell me what you think I could do better to make it look better. Should I have brought another one down? You know, whatever you think, I appreciate your input. So thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.